In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create compound clips step by step. I'll also be going over the different scenarios in which you'd want to use compound clips. And yeah, it's a pretty simple process, so let's get started. So here I am on my timeline in Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, I already have a couple of elements that I got from Motion Array. If you guys didn't know, Motion Array is a really good website to use for stock footage, copyright free music, and a bunch of other things that you can use for your own YouTube videos. So if you're interested, the link will be down in the description for you guys. So the first thing that you want to do is select the clips that you want to create a compound clip with. So in this case, I'm going to choose all three. So in order to choose all three, you basically just hold command on your keyboard and then select all three clips. Or if you want, you can also shift click. So you can click the very first clip, shift click the end, and it'll choose all the clips in between. From here, you can either press option plus G or you can right click the clips. And then you'll see right here, it says new compound clip. Go ahead and click on that. And then right here, it'll say compound clip name. You basically just give it a name and then click OK. From here, all of your clips are going to be combined into one clip, as you can see. And if you want to edit what's inside of the compound clip, then all you have to do is just double click. You can see we have the original three clips inside of it. And if you want to go back, then you just have to press on this arrow right here. In order to undo compound clips, all you have to do is press Command, Shift, and then G. And that'll undo the compound clip that you just selected. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple of different use cases for compound clips. And starting off with the first use case, it's going to be combining layers. So if I go ahead and click into my compound clip, and let's say I just had a bunch of layers on top of each other like this. Now this can get pretty messy and a way to organize all of this is by using a compound clip. So if I wanted to create a compound clip with all of these, I would just have to select all of them and do the same thing, just option G and then press OK. This works for everything from text to audio clips, sound effects, transitions, and all of that. For effects, let's say I wanted to do a continuous zoom in effect on all three of these videos. If I were to go onto each individual clip and so that Ken burns, then it would zoom in for this clip and then reset, zoom in, and then reset, zoom in. But if I combined all of these into a compound clip and then applied the Ken Burns effect to the compound clip, it would be a continuous zoom in from all three clips. Compound clips are also useful for when you wanna combine elements onto different layers. So let's say I wanted to add this mirror effect to all three clips. Well, instead of dragging the mirror effect onto all of the clips individually, what I could do instead is just create a compound clip with all three of them and then insert the mirror clip onto the compound clip. This is really useful when you have multiple clips within your timeline and you don't want to go one by one and insert the elements in that way. Compound clips just help with overall organization of your timeline because if you have a ton of effects, generators, titles, and things like that on top of your layers, it can get pretty messy. And so compound clips just make it into one clip. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. We make a ton of tutorials on this channel dedicated to helping you start up your own business. Anyways, Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next video.